Morning, Roberta. Um, I was reading your post and noted you would like to go through the Inkscape and uh, SCAL3 method of sorting this out. So um, to do print and cut, first of all, you need the image in Inkscape. So let's put that across there. I've already copied it. I opened up your file, copied it, and I've pasted it into Inkscape. Because I tend to cut with sign cut, I also have, as you can see in the um, layers palette here, two layers. One is the registration marks layer, which I can switch on and off, and I'm going to lock that because I don't want to touch that layer, and the image layer. Now, what we need to do is, first of all, trace this image. So I'm going to go up to Path, the Trace Bitmap, and the Trace Bitmap uh, palette or dialog box comes up. And this is the sort of general settings that come up. Uh, I'm going to use Brightness Cutoff, and I'm going to click on Update. And I can see here that this top uh, chrysanthemum, I think it is, doesn't look very clear at the moment. So I'm simply going to come across to this threshold box, click up on the up arrow, take it up a bit, and see that looks nearly close. I'm going to take it up a bit more. Let's take it up there. And that looks uh, quite a good trace, maybe a little more. This is really just a matter of fine tuning update. Now I can see I've pretty much got everything grabbed. So I'm going to click on OK, and you can see the pictures come blacker. We don't need the trace bitmap, so I'm going to close that down. Now, before I do anything else, what I want to do is actually put this on a new layer. So I'm going to leave my image layer here, click on the plus button, and I'm going to call this my cut outline and click on OK. Now I'm going to click on the path that I've just created by tracing. And I know it's the path because down here in the button, it says path 3815 nodes. So I know I've got that. And I want to put it up onto the layer above. So the easiest way to do that is come up to layer move selection to layer above. And if I switch off the image layer by clicking on the eye, you can see it's gone um, lighter. If I switch off that one, they're both off. So if I switch that one back on, I can see that it's now moved to the cut outline layer. I'm going to lock the image layer so I can't get in there and do anything. It's just a habit. It stops you deleting things by accident. And trust me, I can do that. So we've got that. We've also got this odd line and bits and pieces that we don't want. I'm assuming from what you said, you're going to do print and cut. So in order to do that, we need an outline of the image. Well, normally I'd say grab the bucket tool and simply click on it. But if I do, and I just click, let's just zoom in on uh, this so you can see it better. You can see if I just go back to the bucket tool and I click, what it's doing is actually just filling little areas. Now, if you wanted that effect and you did actually want to cut out all these shapes, that would be great. But I'm assuming what you actually want to do is cut the outline of the butterfly. So let's just come up here and click on the undo last button. And I'm going to click on this button here to say zoom to fit whole page so we can see the whole page again. And I'm going to change back to my select tool. I'm going to click on the uh, path and it's all one path. You can see that because there's a bounding box all the way around it. I'm going to come up to path and then break apart. And now you can see we've got three lots of images going. Let's just come and zoom in on this one here. And you can see if I change back to my select tool, we've got lots of little icons here. But actually what we want to do is trace the whole outline. So the simplest way to do that is to click and drag with your left mouse button. And you can see it's selected it and there's lots and lots of different bits. Come up to path and say union. And after a few seconds, it will um, union it all. And you can tell that because it's now there's only 155 nodes instead of um, a lot more. So now I would say go and click on the save button because one of the things about Inkscape is it crashes. It crashes quite often. And when you're doing a lot of work, what you don't want to do is lose your work as you go along. Let's use the Zoom to Fit Page tool again. And I'm going to come down 
And I'm actually just going to click on this line here. This is a little bit of an extra line that we don't need, so I'm just going to have select it, delete it, so we get rid of that. I'm going to click and drag around the butterfly. And again, I'm going to go path and union. Now, I can see with this butterfly that there are going to be some issues. So what I'm going to do is leave that for a minute. I'm just going to click and drag around the bottom butterfly and say path and union. And now we have all three. I'm going to hit the save button so I don't lose my work. And then I'm going to use my magnifying glass over here just to click and drag around this center butterfly so we can look at this. Now, I'm sure that you saw on the video that Gaz did that he deleted a few extra nodes. Here you can see in this area there's some extra bits down here, here, and various places that we don't probably want. It's basically the same principle. Underneath the select tool, you've got edit paths by nodes. If I click on it and then I click on this, you can see that all of the nodes are visible. If I simply click and drag around the area of the nodes that I definitely don't want and press the delete key, I can get rid of those. Again, I'm just selecting individual nodes here. And here, where you can see there is a path that's actually a bit warped, I'm just going to click and drag and sort it out. Now, in order to make sure that it fits the um, image underneath, I can come up and switch on the image layer and just say, OK, we don't need these bits here and click and drag on the line till I've got it sorted out the way I want it to be. I'm not going to spend a lot of time tidying it up, but that's certainly one way to do it. The other way that you can, when you've tidied it up, get rid of a few nodes, is you can come back to Path and click on Simplify, and that will decrease the number of nodes that are available. Um, it depends on you whether you want to simplify it more or less, but that's an option that's available to you. So let's assume, now it's interesting, these lines have reappeared and you might think, what have I done wrong and I can't get to them. It's because I switched on the image layer. So if I switch that off again, you'll see that they've disappeared. So now we have three images and I'm going to say that these are what we want to do. And obviously, if you wanted to tidy up these extra little white bits here, then you just get rid of the nodes as I just showed you. So what we want now is an outline of the image, and there are two separate ways you can do this, um, as has been pointed out to me by Mary and um, Dawn and also Lupi. And let's just show you both methods so you can take your pick which one works better for you. If I select the top one, I can, of course, come across to my um, bucket and click on it, and then simply click on the outside edge. And if I zoom in on this one, you can see I've now got an outside edge. And if I go to my Select tool, I can select the center and simply delete, select the center and delete the center image. And if I switch on the image below, you can see I've got a pretty darn good trace. Little bits here and there that aren't quite accurate, but pretty darn good. Let's move down to this butterfly. The other way that you can do it, and the butterfly is probably not the best example because I haven't tidied it up as well, um, is that you can simply select the butterfly and there are two methods of doing this. What you can do is turn off the fill and they can do that by coming down to this X in the corner and saying turn off the fill, in which case you can see the image below. But if I then say turn on, I'm going to right click on this red uh, square here and say set stroke and you can see we've now got a stroke around the image. So two methods, either use the bucket and or simply select the stroke. It's entirely up to you which one you find easier. Here I can right click, say set stroke and simply use the X. But now we've got the three images with their rectangles. Now, in order to actually cut these out, there are two steps that you have to follow. The first step is to actually print it out. So for that purposes, I would switch off the cut layer outline. So I'm going to do that simply by clicking on the eye across here. 
that switches off the cut out line and now we have our three butterflies don't worry about these lines because when you cut they'll get be um, they'll be cut out so you won't need to worry about them they'll just disappear but you do need to make sure if you're using sign cut that these registration marks are visible so at this point I would send it to print when I have it printed I would then put it back on my mat now when you put it on your mat and let's say you're standing here where of this side here then you would be facing your mat and this would become your right hand corner it's the left hand corner of the work but it's the right hand corner nearest to you when you put it on your mat and let me just explain that when I've got it on the mat for the cutter what I would then do is I would switch off my image layer and switch on my cut outline layer I would then go extensions export center sign cut and after a few seconds it appears now here at the top it shows you this icon shows the current rotation and that indicates the bottom left corner of your work but if you were standing here where that Y is then that would be your right hand so it's this corner the bottom left hand corner of your work appears there where that A is in order to do contour cut what you'd need to do is come up to special cutting and then click on simple contour cut now you have to do this fairly speedily after it appears I use the um, arrow keys on my keyboard to move it up down left and right what I would say is sometimes you find that you can't actually make it move and that's when your printer head is actually behind hit somewhere around here behind this line so your printer head um, sorry I mean your cutter head your cutter head has got to be in front of these lines and both of them so if you find you can't move it over a line have a look at where your cutter heads positioned and make sure it's outside the edge of this cutting area and all you do is you use the arrows either on the screen here on the keyboard this is your first one when you click on next it will move approximately up to here then center it on the bomb site up here click on next it will come down to roughly close to this one you center it on this one and the final one says cut and you send it to cut sounds much more complicated than it is once you've done it a couple of times really it becomes quite easily and these new registration marks with the white bomb site make it so much easier to do it so i hope that that answers your questions and you are able to be successful with the printing cart if not please send me an email and attach the file to my request at btinternet.com and i'll see what i can do to help you also if you have any other requests for any of these tutorials feel free to email me if i know or i can find out how to do it i'll happily make a video i hope you have a great day